Hello, I'm Tony from Bonners Music and this is my review and buyer's guide to the brand new Roland RD88 stage piano. Now, when you're watching this movie, I would advise you to have a listen through some really nice headphones or perhaps some decent quality uh, monitor speakers or computer speakers, just so that you can really appreciate the sound quality of this instrument. Now, the RD88 does have its own very small monitor speakers built into it, um, but it also has audio outputs on the back which you can plug into external amplification, so that makes it ideal for use on stage or where I am here in a home studio environment. Now remember what you're listening to is the sound quality of your own speakers. You're not listening to my speakers I have here or even the speakers that are inside the RD88. I do get a lot of questions on my videos asking me which speakers uh, uh, you're hearing the sound of the keyboard through, but of course you're listening to the sound direct output from the keyboard into my video cameras, and then you're listening to the quality of your own speakers. So bear that in mind when you're making a decision about which piano is best for you. Now, whilst we're on that subject, you can come and see these keyboards at Bonner's Music. Of course, we're closed at the moment, but we should be open again very soon, we hope, all being well. Um, but these have just arrived, and we do have them available for purchase on our website. So check out the uh, links in the description to this movie uh, for the latest prices and other buying options. So the RD88, as you can see, it's a nice, compact, slimline piano. It fits really nicely on my desk here, actually. And look, it's ever so lightweight. So even though it's got its own speakers built in and it's got over 3,000 different sounds built into it, it really is nice and slim and very, very portable. So if you need a, a decent piano for taking on the road with you or something to carry around, then this is ideal. And the monitor speakers built in, they're great for practicing, um, especially if you're on the road and you want to carry it into a hotel room or something, keep the volume down low, just something to monitor with. They're really good. And also it saves you having to um, plug into speakers every time you want to hear the thing. So um, it's, it's a very nice panel layout. Um, as you'll see on the left hand side here, we have your volume control of the on off switch there. Uh, must draw your attention to pitch bend and modulation wheels on the, on the far end there. And then here we have eight different knobs and these have two functions. They can either be the functions along the top that you see here or you can switch them into a sign mode and every single one of those can be assigned to a different um, MIDI controller. Now. What is really great about the RD88 is that it also has a built-in audio interface, um, which means that you can connect it to your PC or your Mac or perhaps your tablet computer and without needing any other audio interface or MIDI interface because it's a MIDI and audio USB interface built into this. Now what that means is that you could have um, the sound of your computer, I'm using a Windows PC here running Cubase um, and Stein, Steinberg's Halion Sonic software. Um, it means that you can have the sound from your computer coming back through the USB and that's mixed with the audio output of the keyboard. So. You, can, you don't have to have any other audio interfaces or anything. You can literally just plug the RD88 into your computer and the sound of the computer will be mixed with the audio of the RD88. And of course, you'll hear it through the RD88 speakers or the outputs of the RD88 going into your external speakers. What you can also do if you have an Apple Mac, um, this will fully integrate with MainStage. Now, MainStage is a piece of software um, made by Apple and it allows you to play uh, soft synths, as they call them, which are basically computer-generated sounds. Um, you can play them using the RD88 via MainStage, but on MainStage, all of the all of the titles of the sounds and everything will actually appear on the screen of your RD88. So it's absolutely full integration with Apple's main stage. So that will only work with, with Apple main stage. It won't work like that with other soft synths, but it's a really great uh, glance into the future, really, I think, of, of how keyboards and computers are gonna become one. Anyway, you've already heard the uh, main grand piano sound in my little intro there, but it's a really lovely piano sound. But it's not just the piano sound that makes it good. It's actually the keyboard as well. And for me, it's the connection between the key 
and the sound generator. It's not just whether or not a keyboard's got a, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, an instrument has a good keyboard on it. It's whether or not that key actually integrates well with the sound that the instrument is producing. Now, if you're familiar with Roland products, this RD88 is very similar in terms of its cabinet shape and design to their entry level uh, digital piano, which is called the FP30. And this actually feels to me like it has the same key action as the FP30, but the sound is so good. And the RD88, the concert grand piano sound is so good. So let's just have another listen to a slightly different piece of music I've played, again using that concert grand piano sound. So the RD88 allows you to layer or split up to three voices across the keyboard. So you can either layer them all on top of each other or each, um, each sound can have its own what they call key window, which means they can be split across anywhere on the keyboard and end anywhere on the keyboard as well. So what I'm going to do in this next example is I'm going to play the piano sound and I'm going to press the dual button and this will layer a second sound. Now, one of my favorite sounds to layer with the piano is actually the, uh, the sound of a synth pad, but a nice warm synth pad. So if I turn this volume knob up now, you can hear we've just got that nice warm synth pad in the background there. If I come across here to these other controllers, I've actually already assigned the very first controller to filter cutoff. So if I now press the assign button, this will now do filter cutoff. So let's just turn the volume up of that sound again. And you hear it opening and closing the filter. So that's a really great sounding piano and pad layer. Now there are of course lots and lots of different piano voices in the RD88 and if you're playing live on stage with a band you maybe want something a little bit brighter that cuts through a bit better and that's where this second piano comes in which I've chosen. This is called the Bright Concert Piano Sound and just take a listen to the extra little bit of bite that this has got especially in the bottom end actually which is really nice. So have a listen to this. So what I'm going to do now is show you another layered piano sound and this is a sound of the uh, traditional acoustic piano sound layered with the modern electric piano sound. So this gives you a very sort of 80s ballad type piano sound and it was a, a sound which was used by a composer called David Foster an awful lot in the 1980s and the 1990s. Now when you layer two voices together you can actually store that combination of sounds and Roland call that a scene. So when you first switch on the RD88 and you're auditioning the different sounds using the buttons here for each of the sound categories, 
and you're having a, a look through what's in there. What you're actually listening to are the scenes that Roland have pre-programmed in the factory. You're not listening to individual voices. So there are actually 400 scenes. Now, there are some blank ones. There aren't 400 preset ones. I think there's probably about 300, maybe a little less, that are already pre-programmed by Roland. So that is kind of give you an idea of it or a demonstration or a flavor of what the RD-88 is capable of. But each of those scenes pulls its sounds from the 3,000 plus sounds that are built into the RD-88. So in a minute, I'm gonna show you how to access those other sounds. But remember when you first switch on the RD-88, what you're listening to are just the combinations of sounds that Roland have pre-programmed that they think, they're, they're the most popular combinations of sounds. Anyway, a really, uh, let's get back to what I was gonna show you, which was the piano layered with the electric piano sound. This is one of my favorite sounds to just sit and play and just lose yourself in this. Have a listen to this one. So as well as acoustic piano voices, there are some really good recreations of vintage electronic piano sounds. And let's just take a listen to the sound of the Fender Rhodes. So that Fender Road sound has a little bit of uh, chorus on it. Now, over here on the left-hand side, you have um, your controls for the amount of effects or the effects depth. So we have a reverb control, you have a chorus or a delay control, and you also have the multi-effects control. So what I'm gonna do now is select a, uh, the same electronic piano sound, but this one has got the phasing sound or fa the sound of the phaser added to it, um, and again, it's a classic 1970s voice. So you've already heard some layered voices. Now, what I'm gonna do now is split the keyboard. So on my left hand, I press the split button here, and on the left hand, I've got the sound of the uh, slap bass. And on the right hand, I've got the sound of the funky clav. So to make things a little bit more fun when you're practicing, the RD-88 has a drum machine built into it. There's well over a hundred different drum patterns of all different musical styles built in. So what I'm gonna do is I've got the, f uh, the sound of the slap bass on my left hand, I've got that funky clav on the right, and I'm using the drum machine as well. So it just makes practicing and rehearsing a little bit more fun.
So I thought it would be useful to just show you how to access all the different sounds that you'll find in the RD88. As I've said already, there are over 3,000 different voices built in. It's kind of a best of Roland's sounds from the last 20 years. So if we just take a look at the main screen here, I'm on the Concert Grand Piano Sound, and just um, to jump to the Concert Grand Sound, you just literally hit the One Touch Piano button. Now that One Touch Piano button um, should be your go-to piano sound. Now Roland have put their Concert Grand Piano Sound in there with various reverb effects and EQ and things, how they think it sounds best, but you can alter that so you can change the sound that's in the One Touch Piano to your own tastes. Now, the buttons along the bottom here, these are where you select your scenes. Now remember, a scene can consist of up to three different voices layered on top of each other, but we wanna get delve deeper than that into the actual individual voices. So if we just take a look at the screen here, it shows me that 001 at the top, that's the number of the scene that I've, I'm selected. But if I move the cursor down to highlight that line there that says Concert Grand, and I press Enter, it now gives me a list of voices and I'm in the acoustic piano category. So you can then step through using the cursor keys up and down all the different piano voices. Now we can either go across left and right using these arrows here and this jumps through the different categories. So I've gone from acoustic piano to pop piano to electric grands, to electric pianos, electric piano two, electric organ, pipe organ, so on. And you can step through all the various categories just by pressing those cursor keys and then using the up and down uh, controls to select the different voices. So like I say, you'll find over 3000 voices in the RD88 and they can be assigned to the right hand, the left hand across the whole keyboard or layered on top of each other. Now, when you've created a sound that you like and perhaps you've layered two voices together you can then store that and that combination is stored and it's called a scene and you can store up to 400 scenes inside the RD88 and you you get to the scenes by choosing the uh, the number at the top of the left hand side of the screen you can either plus or minus through them or you can jump through using the uh, the main panel buttons here now, because there are 400 different scenes, Roland have made it easy for you to jump to your favorite ones using their favorite system. So if that is switched on, you then have your 10 favorite scenes to hand in these 10 buttons from naught to nine there. And that's actually what I've done for this video. I've chosen my favorite 10 sounds that I wanted to show you in this video, and I've assigned them to these 10 buttons to make it very easy. So if you imagine you were playing on stage, you can just jump to the relevant sound very easily. You can actually have 10 banks of 10 as well. So um, you haven't just got 10 sounds here, you can press the bank button, you can change bank and you can have a different set of 10, up to 10 banks of 10. So it's very, very flexible. So you start off with the core of it, you've got 3,000 voices, you layer them, you split them, you store those as a scene, and then you access your scenes through the favorites mechanism. So the RD88 might be very compact in its size, but under the hood, it's actually quite a powerful keyboard. Um, I found some very useful functions built in, um, and one of those is that you can assign the damper pedal to any one of the three layers. You can actually turn it on and off individually for each layer. So just as an example of that, what I've done here is I've split the keyboard. I can play a chord down here, so I've got a nice synth pad sound there. I press my damper pedal, and I can let go and that carries on. And of course that leaves my hands free then to play the right hand and my left hand can do the pitch bend and modulation wheels. Now, the pitch bend and modulation is only assigned to the sound on the right. So there are quite a few different parameters that you can switch on or off or enable or disable for the three different parts of the, uh, that the RD88 can produce at one time. So let's just take a listen to an example of that. Synth pad in the left, solo lead in the right with my hands free to be able to play.
So to finish off with, I'm just gonna show you a few of the other features which just make the RD88 a very useful tool. First of all, you've got an EQ section which is all to hand. You don't have to go through the menus for the EQ. Um, it's here. Now what I mean by EQ, it's short for graphic equalizer. And I find it, I and mean, I play live on stage with various bands and I use it all the time because different uh, venues, different stages, uh, have different room acoustics. Or sometimes you have uh, other members in a band who can be a bit loud, um, and you can use the graphic equalizer to change the tone of your instrument. And it's particularly on piano sounds, um, so that you can either cut through the mix or um, just adjust your tone to the environment you're in. There is something else here which Roland called tone color. And this knob here, what that does is actually it changes the uh, the sound or, or the the the, width, the stereo width settings. So it goes from mono through to really wide stereo pan. Now, again, if you're playing live through a big PA system, people in the audience aren't going to notice whether you're in stereo or mono. To be honest with you, especially if you're working amongst other musicians on stage, and so that. Um, your sound is sort of focused in the mix. Sometimes it's good to have it in mono. So you've got a control there. And again, you can do that on the fly. So if you find that your sound isn't quite right, you can use the EQ to adjust the bass and the treble and the mid, and you can change the stereo pan width as well. So Roland have thought really hard about the, um, the gigging musician and having everything to hand, which is nice. And even when you're at home, it's just nice to tweak things on the fly rather than have to step through lots of menus and things. Um, you, as I've already touched on, you've got three controls here for your the effect uh, levels. Um, and there's also a compressor built in as well. So what that does is, is it will even out the sound for you really. So very quiet sounds, it will boost them and, and sounds that are a bit too loud, it will bring them down all within a, 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 a set volume range, if you like. That's the easiest way of explaining it. It's not probably not technically correct, but that is the effect that it gives you. And you can um, alter how much it is actually affecting the sound. You've got a transpose button to hand here. So if you're working with other musicians who can't play a song in the same key that you can, or a singer that needs you to play in an unusual key, again, just hold down the transpose button. You can press either the keys, or you can use the plus and minus buttons to go up and down in semitone intervals. So finally, let's just take a look at the back panel of the RD88. Just take a look at some of the connections you've got. So starting on the far left, you have a headphone socket. Then you've got your left and right outputs on quarter inch jacks. And you also have line inputs and a mic input. So the line input is on a three and a half mil jack, a stereo mini jack that is. And that enables you to plug things like a smartphone or a tablet in, and you can play along with songs um, that are playing on your tablet, or perhaps you're playing along with backing tracks you've uh, found online on, uh, on YouTube. Um, there is a microphone input as well, which you can add reverb to. It's a jack input for the mic input. And then, as I've already said, you have three different foot pedal inputs on the back. And there is a standard five pin DIN MIDI output for connecting to other MIDI equipped instruments. You have the USB connection to computer, and there's of course the USB uh, memory socket, which is for connecting a flash drive. And you use that so you can play along with uh, songs, or you can actually play audio files from that using the song player that's built into the RD88. So again, that makes the RD88 really useful for perhaps uh, duos or just solo acts who have backing tracks they want to play with, along with, just put them onto um, a flash drive, plug it in, and then you can play those back using the song player. So that brings me to the end of my Roland RD88 demo video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that I've covered the most important features that are important to players. Um, I think I've covered pretty much everything. There are of course some more details you can get into if you go into the menus, but overall um, I think I've, I've covered the things that you'll use most of the time. Now, I must say, I really like it. It's, it's been a real joy to play. I've, I've had it for 24 hours just to get used to it. And the, the piano sound, as soon as you get it out of the box and you play that piano sound, it, it's a lovely experience. And for the price, I mean, I think it's absolutely packed full of features.
So we have these in stock right now and that's at the time of creating this video. So if you want to see prices or you wish to purchase one, you can buy it from the Bonners Music website. Check the links below this movie for the links directly to our product page. You will of course be able to see this in our showrooms. We have three stores. One is in Eastbourne on the south coast, one is in Rygate in Surrey, and the other one is in Milton Keynes. Just give the local store of your choice a call before visiting just to make sure that we have them on display at the time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions about the RD88, please do get in touch um, and I will see you in another one of my piano demonstration movies.